From Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital of the world and home of the Air Castle of the South, it's time for the Marty Stewart Show, featuring Marty Stewart, the Rolls Royce of country singers, Miss Connie Smith, the old Tennessee slicker, Leroy Troy, along with all the fabulous superlatives, cousin Kenny Bond, handsome Harry Stinson, the apostle Paul Martin, plus Gary Carter on the steel guitar. And today's special guest, Mike Snyder, along with Tony Ray, Brian Christensen, Matt Combs, Todd Cook, and the Martin Brothers and Mom join us as well. Stay tuned for the next 30 minutes of fun and great country music. I'm Eddie Stubbs. Now how about a superlative welcome for our host, Middle Mississippi's main man. Here is Marty Stewart. I've got an old travel, he's the card of a man A knight without armor in a savage land His fast gun for hire, he's the calling wind A soldier of fortune, he's a man called Paladin Paladin, Paladin, where do you roam? <laughs> paladin, Paladin, far, far from home Well, he travels on to wherever he must A chest knight of silver is his badge of trust There are campfire legends that the plainsmen see of a man with a gun, man called Paladin. Paladin, Paladin, where do you roam? Paladin, Paladin, far, far from home. Far, far from home. Far, far from home. <laughs> Somebody say howdy to me! And howdy back to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Marty Stewart Show. 30 minutes of great country music, old-time music, gospel music, and bluegrass music. We got you covered if you'll hang out with us for the next few minutes. Fine job on Paladin Superlatives. How about a hand for my superlatives? Yes. <laughs> My guest today is truly one of the brightest stars at the Grand Ole Opry, one of the greatest ambassadors old-time music could have. He's excellent. As a matter of fact, he is the CEO of all good things concerning Gleason, Tennessee. How about a hand for the great Mike Snyder and the boys? Hello, Mike. Hey! Outstanding, outstanding guest. There it is. Great. 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 Take your time. Good. Welcome, Mike. Welcome. You ready for us to play one? And take one. All right, let's do it.
<laughs> Welcome, guys. Welcome back to the Marty Stewart Show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marty Stewart. Thanks for tuning in. Superlatives, Gleason, Tennessee's finest on the hay bales. Fine, gentlemen. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't get $30 for all of them. Speaking of the finest, how about a hand for one of the greatest country singers of all time? Miss Connie Smith, everybody. Come on, Constance. Life sure gets lonely alone. No one to talk to alone. Night sure get longer since you've gone. Don't Don't let me live on dreams alone. Don't keep me lonely too long. Memories are bad for one so lonely. Only Yes, I'm too lonely Alone Afraid of being Alone Without your What about that? Son, that's strong. My wife, Miss Connie. Mr. Snyder, speaking of wives, I saw your wife, Miss Sweetie, back there. Yes, yes, yes. Had on a pretty leather suit. Beautiful. Yes, yes. I like for to wear them leather clothes. Yeah. Much smell like a new car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one had them roar. I know it. They love it. <laughs> hey, we got some business to take care of. Yes, we do. True matter. There's a fellow named Rooster up in Idaho yes. that watches us every week, and since the very first show, he has been writing me letters on almost a weekly basis wanting Mr. Mike Snyder to come on and play a song. And so I'm glad we can do that for you, Rooster, but bigger business is at hand. Rooster has his girlfriend yes. at his house tonight watching us, got her on the couch, and he's gonna ask her an important question. And he wants to know if you could sing a song to kind of set the mood for the big question yes, for marriage. Yes, I can. I've got, I've got something that'll work real good. Romantic. Oh, it's romantic. Okay. Yes, he'll gnaw her ears plumb off <laughs> when I get on the edge right here. <laughs> <laughs> you say that I don't love you. You say my love's untrue. Well, darling, if I was a rich man, I'd prove my love to you. I'd buy you a diamond ring and a new fur coat or two. If my nose is running money, honey, I'd blow it all on you. <laughs> all right. Okay. That ought to do it right there. That was good. That ought to do it right there. I guarantee you, he's got earlobes hung in his throat right now. <laughs> That's on one of your big hit records. I love your records. I've got all of them. You do? I used to buy them. Is that where they went? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> there's about there's several million people watching. You ought to talk about well, your. Well, you know right. what? I, they're probably sitting out there wondering right now. Where on this earth could we get us some of that? <laughs> <laughs> This Look. is your lucky day. Look, I got four of them here. Yes, they sir. All, they all, this is this is my my uh, collage here of yes. records. Yes. Look here. This has got all comedy songs on it. You can get this for the low price of twenty dollars. <laughs> no, twenty five dollars. <laughs> or you can get this one for the low price of twenty five dollars. A string band music. Oh, you can get this one here for the low price of twenty five dollars. Yes. Or this one right here with a banjo playing and. This is, here's got jokes and stories, son, it's unbelievable. You Wonderful. have one or all of them for $25, see? What I'm trying to get across is if you get anything, we're getting $25. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be one of the thousands who have walked off <laughs> and left these behind. No. 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 You see, you can't get these in stores. I can't either. <laughs> now, you've got, to, you've got to order them from me, see? And Kurt probably put this on the screen. For Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Mike Snyder, Gleason, Tennessee, 38229. And we'll send these to you, folks. And listen, this is the great thing about you getting these CDs right here. When you come driving up into your hometown with these playing in your car, people's going to stop and look at you. <laughs> All right. Listen, I don't want to put the high pressure on you to buy these or nothing, but things have been tough at home. Oh. <laughs> My mother-in-law had a facelift the no. other day. Yeah. No. Yeah, and they didn't lift it high enough, and I, I'm gonna have to pay for it. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, the doctor, he come in and said, I've got good news and great news. She said, what is it, doc? He said, the good news is the facelift went perfect. Great news is I had enough skin left over to make you a pair of cowboy boots. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we better get out of here before we get in trouble. You won't do. We better turn it over to Eddie Stubbs. Take her away there, Mr. Excited. <laughs> but by Mike's record, get it, Stubbs. See me after the show. That's mighty. Speaking of mighty, we introduce you to the CEO of all good things in Gleason. Here's the Sultan of Goodlettsville, ladies and gentlemen, the old Tennessee slicker, the most popular man in country music. Here he comes, Leroy Troy. Come here, Leroy. You know Mike and the boys. Goodlettsville, man. What's the good word from Goodlettsville today, pal? Well, I'll tell you what, what, things would be a lot gooder if we could find our septic tank. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the problem, I just can't find the source. You know what I'm talking about? It's yeah. going to cost money, too. Okay, well, pick one. <laughs> What's okay. it going to be? What's it going to be? <laughs> it is going to be um, <laughs> coming from the ball, and Brian and Matthew, um, you play it pretty now. Oh, no okay. hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> South. Hair so curly on her head she couldn't shut her mouth. Don't get weary, don't get weary, children, don't get weary, I'm coming from the ball. Seen her in the cornfield coming from the ball. Don't get weary, don't get weary, children, don't get weary, I'm coming from the ball. away and died. Don't get weary, don't get weary, children, don't get weary, I'm coming from the ball. Saturday, 
she was married. Well, Sunday was my courting day, and Monday I got married. <laughs> don't get weary, don't get weary, children, don't get weary. I'm coming from the ball. Yeah, that's all. What rounds with ball? That's all, yes. <laughs> Ah, yes, the lovely and talented Leroy Troy in Coming from the Ball. Some folks have said they don't know whether Leroy is coming or going. We'll let you decide. How about that? Well, we've got a very special edition of Hymn Time this week on the Marty Stewart Show, and here's Marty to tell you more about it. Thank you, Mr. Stubbs. A few weeks ago, you might have seen this gentleman right here, guitar star Mr. March Martin, come out on our show. And I told you that Paul and Jamie, this is Jamie, by the way, Paul's wife, I told you they had a house full of kids, pretty kids. It sounds like a music store at their house, music coming out of every room. Kale's here with us today, brought your whole school class with us. Thank you for bringing yeah. them. Yeah. MHMS third grade. Yes, sir. And uh, you guys came by a show we did last summer and just stole the show with a song off of our Souls Chapel record yeah. called Slow Train. Would you guys do a Slow Train for us again? Sure. You start it and we'll All get right. in there. <laughs> It's a slow, slow train, but it's moving on. But I've got my ticket, so don't pass me by. It sure was great to see the Martin brothers out there. They're 8 and 11 years old, respectively. They're little kids. Here's a couple of kids at heart. <laughs> They've never grown up and never will. Here's Marty Stewart and Mike Snyder once again. Right. And proud of it. Hey, and baby. proud. Didn't he do a good job? Yeah, he's the world's best. The world's finest. He's, he's, as, he's as smooth as a miner's belly, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Mr. Snyder, thank you and the orchestra for coming by. Yes, truly yes. the finest. Truly the finest. They're fine boys. That's Matt. Brian, Todd, and Tony right there. They're really good boys. Absolutely. Well, would you honor us with one more selection? Yes, we'd love It to. is entitled... The Colored Aristocracy and the Squirrel Hunter. Well, tear it up. How yeah. about a hand for Mike and the boys? Yes, come on, let's hear it for us. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
Yes, sir. Cause. <laughs>